This is how I buy my soy sauce from Costco. And this is the container that it comes in from the grocery store. The classic Kikoman soy sauce dispenser. And this thing is pretty hard to twist off. I've gotten this off and on a couple times, so it's pretty easy at this point. The, uh, the beauty of having a 3D printer is you get to print your own tools. So this is attempt number one at a lid wrench. I didn't quite get those measurements correct. This chamfer here wasn't aggressive enough, so I couldn't get it on there. This is attempt number two. It fits and it did work, but then it cracked. I only have two walls and 15% infill. There you go, cracked right there. Attempt number three, same design, but we've got four walls and 50% infill, which actually made the top layer turn out a lot smoother than the previous print. And you actually see where the bed's peeling up on this bottom layer, which is a little interesting, but now that works perfectly and I can tighten it way past where I can tighten it by hand, which is not the, the point of this, but Can't really get that off without the tool now. She's gone. So that's one way of doing it. Then I also wanted a more minimalist approach. So I redesigned it to look like this. You get a good, good grip on it and you can twist her off. Just like that. And you can also see when you're nice and flat through that hole in the top. And that's the beauty of having a 3D printer and a little bit of design skill. So I'll put the STLs in the description and now I can refill this guy. Subscribe for a follow-up video about why this probably isn't a great idea.